Hey everybody, Ron here with Cold Harbor Supply, and today we are looking at an install guide of the Chad Keeney. So if you're unaware, we sell this guy, which is the Chad plus Iris combo, a very, very popular aperture device for night vision devices. Now this guy acts as a sack lens, but it also acts as an adjustable aperture. So you can adjust how much light is coming in, adjusting your focus and also acting as a daylight cover for your nods. However, if you are day noodling or having your nods point up during any sort of field use, which is a real thing, you can actually damage your tubes even with a daylight cover on. So we wanted to make a full blackout cover like these Chad Kinney's here so that you can protect your nods from any damage to the lenses, even the sack lenses, of course, and act as a full blackout cover to protect your valuable tubes. Now, previously people had to flip around their bikini covers to fit the uh, iris devices but the problem with this is is as they do fit they're not a perfect fit you kind of have to press them in and it doesn't create a nice light seal the other problem is is because the chad adds a little bit of length to your device oftentimes the bikini cover was stretched to high noon so we created this guy these guys are made of epdm rubber they're also going to be a little bit more rigid so that way they fit over a little bit nicer the retention rings that come with them are also going to be sized down very very slightly for a tighter fit so they don't move around like traditional bikini cover rings which we often see flipping inside out sideways and all that stuff so let's get into the install of this so first we're going to actually put the bikini on the device itself this does work as a normal bikini cover but it's not ideal compared to a standard one so if you're not running a chad i just recommend getting a standard bikini cover so once it's on there you're going to see that you have these tabs over here and you're going to basically index those tabs with these guys that are on your retention rings so the rears go first you stretch this dude over and it's going to be quite a stretch and they will go over the rear of the diopter housing like so if you want you can move these further in here if you would like it works like that too but they are designed to work where they sit now the next thing you're going to do is you're actually going to stretch this guy over the front before you install the iris and the reason for that is because stretching this guy over the iris having us made these a little bit tighter is not the easiest task in the world so you're going to do a big stretch over here and then stretch it over the objective lens and then you're going to put it right behind the infinity collar. The reason why we didn't have these sit on the infinity collar is because that can get kind of annoying. If it slips forward for any reason, sometimes you can get it caught in the focusing elements, which is not nice. You're going to pull these over here so it sits in between. It's good enough for now. We're going to do the final adjustments once we install the actual device. So you're going to flip this to the side like so, and then you're going to screw your iris on. This one's a bit worn because it's been used by a few law enforcement demos that we've done. And as you can see, it's screwed on like so. It's nice and solid. You can adjust it. This cover will basically just go over the front and it's been perfectly sized to fit our lenses. And as you can see, it works well over there. Now the final step is to kind of adjust the elastics, pull them tight, make sure that everything is sitting properly, make sure that you are having them at the proper angle, which it probably is not super symmetrical right now but you get the idea with the other one that's already previously installed there you go the chad keenies and chads are fully installed and now you have full blackout field covers that you won't lose like pinch caps over your night vision devices you can still focus everything focus aperture and diopter easily without things getting in the way they also add as a bit of a drop pad if you drop your nods for whatever reason you have a little bit of a rubber cushion on the bottom and of course they prevent your lenses from getting scratched up damage when these are stored or being used in the field so there you go guys cold harbor supply chad keenies and chad installation super simple and honestly a great way to protect your night vision device